Hi everybody. Hi. We are coming at you live today to show you some fun stuff with the new jellies that just released. They just released on last Friday and we are going to swatch them and maybe do a couple of designs, show you a couple of different things and then we'll be back next Monday. So mark your calendars, but we're going to come back next Monday to show you some really beautiful designs that you can do with jellies, especially for the upcoming season change and everything like that. So we have mm -hmm. a, of our jellies, we have a brown, a red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and a pink. So shall I just hop into it? Let's, let's do the thing. Let's yep. do it. All right. I'm going to move these guys. All right. I'm very excited. We're going to start by swatching actually, which is going to be fantastic. Mm -hmm. All right, so clear the decks. Although, can I just show these yeah. real fast? Look how beautiful. Rachel stayed here yesterday and started playing. She came up with other designs. Those are the ones we're not going to show you. We'll come back on Monday and show you some really cool in-depth designs. But like the fun uh, like layer stuff, mm -hmm. I love. So, like, so cute. So fun. What glitter is this? Um, Dottie. Dottie. Mm -hmm. And then she said that the jellies ombre really, really nicely. So how, yeah. how beautiful is that? Yep. And then this is a jelly sandwich. We're going to work on that today. Last week we did chrome sandwiches with you. So today we thought, well, let's throw in some jelly sandwiches and see how cool that turns out to be. Mm -hmm. And then Rachel's also going to be showing you this one, which is gorgeous. That's my favorite. Stunning. It's kind of that milky ombre that's been happening lately. So lots and lots of fun things to do with your jelly polishes. But like I've already said, we're going to start with um, swatching. So here we go. Let's get to it. Everybody's loving them. Very good. You need the jellies. Yes, you do. Um, oh, please do torties. Well, maybe check back next Monday. <laughs> <laughs> next Monday, we're doing a lot more like actual nail actual art. Nail art. Mm -hmm. So this is just very basic, just going over the colors, um, talking about the pigmentation formula, blah, 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 like we always yeah. do. But then we're going to do more in-depth Real, yeah, real designs nails. next week. Hi, Adri. Yeah. How are you? Um, so yeah. Mm-hmm. We're very excited. So come back with us next Monday. Um, let's say 10 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. Yeah. Mountain Daylight Time. 10 a.m. Utah Time. Utah in the States. <laughs> whatever time we are. <laughs> that would be 5 p.m. in England uh -huh. and whatever time. I don't know where everybody is, but there you go. Yeah. 10 o'clock next Monday. Let's just make a date. Great. Go for it. All right. Um, I'm just going to start off with our good friend Brown because I actually really love the brown. Yes, for Torty, but also just because it's just a really nice a really brown nice tone jelly. Of brown. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And these aren't like super, super thick. They're not like a crazy amount of pigment in here. So they apply really, really nicely. They're not streaky. Like that's just one coat and that's already. I love that it's not streaky. Yeah. And it evens itself out. It evens like, itself out. Yep. Yeah. So if you were hurrying along, and um, you put your client directly in the lamp without letting it settle, it might appear streaky. But if you just give it a second for the pigment to chill for a minute, mm -hmm. then everything works itself out. Yeah. So on to the red. Is there plenty of the entire collection in stock? Yes. Yes, we there do is have plenty. Plenty for everybody. The red is very good too. It doesn't look like pink or orange it looks like red it actually looks like red mm -hmm. yep mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Very i'm gonna good. move this out of the lamp area yeah um and Rachel's we're gonna do curing. we're gonna do two coats of them um just to show you the difference that it makes because it really does make a difference when you yep. do multiple layers of this i think on the first as with coat, any polishes yeah because yeah. mm -hmm. on the first coat like yeah it's just like a nice light tan brown jelly but Second coat, it deepens up quite a bit. You can move the lamp. I'll hide it's the, just I in say, a, I'll hide the lamp from yours. It's I'm just in a precarious our, position. Gonna curing cure our all polishes our as we swatch them. But like, it's still super sheer. It doesn't make it like totally opaque. It's just a lovely. Ah, uh, that's really beautiful. Semi sheer, caramely brown. Mm -hmm. Love it. Yeah. And Lovely I color. foresee that being really, really nice to have in the fall. Absolutely popular. 
um, a must-have if you're doing any kind of torties, whether that be traditional or blonde. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, 100%. All right. And then I got good friend orange. Um, this one I did notice yesterday when I was playing around with it a little bit. It does have, like you can even see on the brush, it does have quite a bit more pigment than the other ones. This is the only one. It's just kind of like a, just, I don't know. It's kind of just more of an intense pigment. But it still is really sheer. It's very nice coloring. It's not like neon, but it is just a little bit like brighter than the other ones. It's lovely. I would say it's yeah. just a true pumpkin orange, but it's yeah. semi-sheer. Oh, well, yeah. it is sheer. So back to the red for our second coat. Red Carpet Nail Boutique said cola bottle jelly. Totally yes. true about the brown. Yes, it really does. Mm -hmm. This really is Coke bottle. Just Coke. Just Coke. This is a Coke mm -hmm. nail. Yep. 100%. All right, without being guy. long and on your pinky. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah just found out what a coke la, nail is. La. It's fine. I'll order them on Thursday. I'm in Florida on vacation. Oh, Danny, that's awesome. I hope you're enjoying your vacation. So, Rachel, I'm going to work on yellow while Rachel's, Rachel's doing her second coat um, of Perry, orange. You go ahead because okay. I don't want to take up all the room. No, oh, you're fine. I wow, zoomed yellow in on the is really pigmented, isn't it? Really it really is. Wow. But it's a very nice yellow. It's, it is. It's just like buttery yeah. and sunshine. It actually feels like the melted butter that you get on your popcorn. Mm. Mm. I want to go to the movies. It's super, super nice. And if you notice, I'm just staying here for just a second. The pigment is just leveling itself out, which is so beautiful. All right. Coat number two of the orange. And we're doing like a normal application of these. We're not doing super thin. We're not doing a thick. So you can actually get like a true test of the the opacity of them, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, like they're not opaque really no, at all. Uh -uh. Like, and no. this is Hopefully, just a regular. I think they can see on the screen that it's, it's just a regular still sheer. application. But it just has a very nice. beautiful hue. All right, second layer for our yellow. They're actually a really beautiful consistency as well. Yep. They're not really thin, but they're not incredibly thick. Just like really nice and easy to paint on. Yep. Gorgeous. All right. And this one has quite a bit of bubbles because I played with it a lot last night. So. <laughs> um, is this uh, the this green? is green. I actually love, I love this color. Yeah. The color of it is just so fun. It's very much like a mermaidy. Oh, it just feels sea mermaid -y. green. It's beautiful. It feels like jello. It's so pretty. There's a lot of bubbles in mine because I really. So, what happens when it. polishes get bubbles in them? How do you deal with that? Mm, don't touch it. Leave it. <laughs> yeah, you just gotta leave it alone and they just gotta settle yeah. themselves out. Um, yep. And as you're working on the nail or on the swatch, you just have to be patient and. You don't want to pat more bubbles into it. You really just want to like move the bubble off while depositing your color. Mm -hmm. So it's just a matter of like patiently stroking out the bubbles. Mm -hmm. And then your gel will work itself out within a little, you know, a couple days. Yeah. I love the blue too. Looks like you played with this one last night too. I played with all of them, this but I kind of like... made a bit of a mess. It's fine. I threw away the towel. I wasn't oh, even going to try and save it. Oh, that's funny. It's fine. Yep, so you just gotta kinda like pull down on the bubbles, get them off of the nail, and then you'll be good to go. And I am purposely um, over curing these so that you can see that the pigmentation is lovely, that it doesn't, mm -hmm. it doesn't change. Mm -mm. Nope. All right, two layers of the green. I'm glad, Danny. I'm glad you've been having a good time. And thank you for joining us while you're on vacation. That's um, commitment. Yes, the manicure mouse said, I need all of these. Yes, Ashley. You, you really do. do. They are so much they fun. They are so, so, so fun. I literally was here until almost nine o'clock last night playing with them. Because I didn't want to leave. I was having cool so designs. much fun and I never get to play. So I was like, oh, I'm going to stay. Love it. It was fun. 
I love it. Rachel, you are a creative soul. Well, uh, sometimes I think you are. <laughs> sometimes. I think you really, really are. Thanks. Appreciate it. Oh, I love that blue. It's, it's like, in I love person. All of these. It is That's so sheer and see through. It is fun. Yeah. That's the thing, though, is like all of these, like, you look at them and you're like, oh, that one. Oh, this one. Because they just are so good and then just get better and better. Yep. So this is purple. Purple jelly. This one feels very, very royal in its color. Mm -hmm. Hi, everybody. Mm -hmm. We're showing you all the brand new jellies that were just released. These are for licensed professionals only. You can shop at magpiebeautyusa.com. If you are not already approved for a professional for a professional access on the website, all you have to do is email us a copy of your license and we will take it from there. Easy breezy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love this purple. I really do. Here, I'll take these out. It's okay. Just weasel my way in there. Squeeze. Sorry. All right, last up is the pink one. And I'm going to swatch a couple of sticks because we're going to do just a couple of like quick little nail art things on here. So I'm just going to. Yep, we're going to start with easy nail art designs. Very, very simple to achieve. And then again on Monday at 10 a.m. Mountain Daylight Time, we will come back on and show you a bit more advanced nail art that you can do with all of these jellies. Excuse me, I just love listening to you guys talk. Love an American accent. Oh, thank you. Thanks. I feel like I sound like Hicks, but that's okay. Um, Danny said they look amazing. I love the coverage. Um, yes, amazing coverage. Even just like two thin coats is just lovely. Um, okay, here's two coats of the purple. I'm prepping mine with fresh so as a good. daisy over here because I'm going to do a very simple, simple design. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll come back in with my second swatch of... You can move mine if you need to. No, you're good. I'm going to come in with my last swatch of pink, and then Rachel's swatch should be ready to start a very easy nail art design. Well, maybe. Maybe? Are you going to do two? But I'm just going to use a base of Come What May. I love my Come What May. Background. It's just so nice. It's just a beautiful neutral color. All right. Well, All right. let me finish this guy. All right, we're almost ready. So hey, hi, let me walk me you through. Absolutely. Because I don't want to touch anything. Okay. Uh, so on mine, mm -hmm. I am going to do. A jelly sandwich. Last week's live had to do with chrome sandwiches where we showed you application of different kinds of glitter and then we showed you how to make a chrome sandwich on top of that. Uh, it's a very similar technique but now your possibilities are anything in the rainbow which is a lot of fun. So I am going to use, I used one layer. If I was doing this on a real human I would have put on my layer of get a grip base coat a layer of Give Me Strength or a second layer of get, get a Grip, either way. And then I would put one layer of Fresh as a Daisy, which is what I've done. And then I'm going to, if I wanted this to be full coverage, I wouldn't have cured it first. But I don't want it to be full coverage. I want it to be kind of PC and um, for mm -hmm. the whole nail not to be covered. That's just the look I'm going for. It's not wrong either way. But you can go back and watch last week's live to know the different ways to apply a chunky glitter. So I'm just gonna take my applicator brush, this is the Magpie applicator, and I'm going to dunk it inside of my glitter, and then I'm going to simply pat the glitter onto the tacky layer of the gel, and then I'm gonna give it a 10 second cure so that it really sucks it down. Again, if I wanted this to be full coverage, I would have put glossy in before it cured, before I cured my color layer. But it's just so pretty with just a little, yeah, just glossy. a little bit of it. She has the prettiest oh. coloring. Oh my gosh, flossy for the win. 
Hello from Scotland, Nails by Lindsay. How cool is that? Hi, thanks for hopping on. Thank you. All right, so I'm gonna give this a 10 second cure just to really suck all of that gel down onto, I mean the glitter onto the gel. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do you want me to wait? Here's your, no, go for it. Cause I have two of these. Oh, um, I was yeah, gonna do me... one just traditional th with this and then gotcha. my, uh, this guy. No, let me just quickly pop this You on. do you. All right, so then the next layer is going to be, you have a couple different options. You could use Magpie Give Me Strength as your glitter glue. So what we're wanting to do is encapsulate this. If I were to go in right now with my jelly, what would happen is all of the loose glitter that might be on here is going to get brought up into my jelly and ruin my gel polish. So I don't want that to happen. So instead, um, you can use whatever gel that you have deemed as your glitter glue. In this case, I'm using Shine Bright because that's the bottle I ruined last week on <laughs> the Instagram Live. So I figure I'll just stick with the same gel so that this can now be our glitter glue gel. You could use Give Me Strength. You could use a bottle of Rubber Up. You could use a bottle of Get a Grip. Any one of those gels is going to be a great glitter gel, uh, glitter glue gel. But I'm just trying to deposit enough on here and checking the sides to make sure that I've gotten all of the glitter pieces and really just encapsulating that glitter. I'm gonna give it just a couple of seconds to self-level. And then after this cures for 60 seconds, I'm going to put on a layer, a very thin layer of the pink jelly. That's gonna be so pretty. I'm very excited because iridescent glitters like flossy are so fun to cover with other colors. They really are. All right, you could start prepping yours. Okay. If you like. Okay. I just gotta figure out how I wanna do this. Cause maybe I want. Hello everybody. Okay. So I'm gonna do this kind of, <gasps> it's like kind of like a center ombre with glitter and shapes and I really want you to see the depth of it. And I want you to just like. It's so pretty. It it's like, so hard to see on camera. You know camera. the depths of sea when you could like dive in it? That's what oh, it feels yeah. like. It's like a deep hole. Oh, glitter. it's so pretty. But it's so cool because these, um, these jellies ombre really nice actually. So it was really fun to play around with it and, you know, see how easily it spreads. And mm -hmm. It's very nice. So I'm going to do that. I have come what may on here. I have two coats just for... You know just a little bit more color around it i don't want it to look like clear around it i still want it to have some color and i'm basically just gonna put a little blob i'm using yellow for this just so you chose here. a color palette i did first yeah. yeah like your green one yeah so i have a color palette and then all of my um my glitters and dusts and shapes whatever i use they're all that same color palette you could do it with anything though um, and then I'm just using the ombre brush and I'm just really lightly kind of feathering out that edge. I don't want to go all the way to the corners. I don't want to like spread it out too much. I don't want it to be like Did you leave ombre. on the inhibition layer? Mm-hmm, I did. There goes the salon foam. Sorry, guys. Oh, sorry, I'm not even in camera. I zoomed in so that we could see it better and here I am not even filming in camera. In true Rachel fashion. <laughs> that already looks so cool. Right? Mm -hmm. And it's just kind of, since it's a jelly and it's sheer, even if there are patches and spots where it's like disconnected or it's patchy, like you can't really tell because it's so sheer, which is nice. That's pretty cool. Makes for very easy ombres. It feels like very sun like. You know? Sunshine. Yeah. This is a sunshine nail. It's very cool. And I have a lot over here, and it's kind of looking like an egg yolk that spread too much. Oh, so I'm okay. just going to. Mm -hmm. No, I see an egg yolk. Go back in. I was going with the sun. <laughs> yeah. Plus. And they can be totally uneven. You can make them in a certain shape if you want. I'm just doing a little, just a little blob. It's so cool. And then. This is where it gets fun because it can get messy. And I'm, you know me, I love some messes. I really don't, but it's gonna be fun. I'm on the edge of my seat. I wanna know what you did. Because the depth in that green one was 
Awesome. Oh, it's really fun. So I'm going to go in with a few different things, actually. So I'll show you what I have laid out here. I can't really decide what I want yet. Some of you guys can help me comment below what I should use. Yeah. <laughs> what shapes I should use. I've got little um, holographic hearts, which is what I used on the last design, which I love. I have so little... there's both gold and silver, so yeah. you use the gold. Yeah, I have little iridescent flowers. Those are adorable. And I have the little just yellow iridescent butterflies also cute but this is my color palette that I'm working with so I've got little circles out of this that I'm going to use just to add some um just shape variety and size difference I have some Laura Ann that I'm going to throw in just to add a little bit of a different color and I have my favorite constants from the you know once last upon a week time we collection. talked about the once upon a time this is constant I will come that. up with any excuse to use this mm hmm um, and then I have Denise that is from the Mother's Day collection, which we love. So, such a cool collection. Yes, and in this one I used Monica, so it's the turquoise one. Um, and that's, like, the little bits of, like, iridescent that you see through there. That's just Monica sprinkled in there. So that's so what's adding so, the depth. So, so fun. Yeah, because it's got a little bit of hexagons. It's got some shredded. There's some hollow there's and some, iridescent in that. Yeah, there's lots of different color variation so that's, that's why cool. I wanted this one is just because it's such a different color than this yellow I wanted to see what it would do so we're gonna just play around so cool all right tell me tell me who who decided on shapes for me um butterflies butterfly hollow hearts okay mostly you said butterflies okay butterflies okay. it is done that's cute I haven't used these before all right so I'm just gonna put a little bit in the lid so that I don't have to have all the bottles up over here because that will end in a disaster Knowing me and my life and the way that I live on the edge. On the edge, yes. All right. Mm -hmm. um, and as you can see, this isn't going anywhere. Like, it literally is just staying where I put it. So you don't have to worry about them running if you're doing nail art. Just tell your client to sit still. That's just all. hold still. Don't mm -hmm. go anywhere. All right. And... All right, and then I got some of those. And... This is very satisfying. Is it? Yeah, and it is. Yeah. All right. The thing is, is this isn't hard. There's just like a lot of different things that I used. So, you so just you're to... putting all of this into an uncured layer? Yes. That makes me nervous. Yes. For it. Um, so I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of the, oh, of Constance in first, just to kind of give a base. And I don't want them all the way out there, but listen, it's fine. to lay down get those to lay down okay and then I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna add a little butterfly or two if this will pick it up because my brush is not very sticky okay I'll go in there we go cute I'm out <laughs> they're all stuck together now And then we're gonna throw in a little bit of Denise. Whoa. And you just kind of sprinkle it in there. I'm not completely covering the jelly that's in there. I'm just the yellow. Yeah. Right? I'm not completely covering it. And I actually will add a little bit more once I cure it. Just so that I can kind of layer over all of I the can shapes see what's, that I put. Okay. Mm -hmm. I would never have come to this without watching this. And then I'm just gonna add some of the little gold circles just so that I have um, different shapes and different sizes of things. And I like to have different um, like colors, like of the same color palette. Mm -hmm. I like to have multiple yellows or golds or whatever you're using. And these have a few different sizes of circles. That makes it kind of fun. Morgan said that now I need to order those butterflies. <laughs> uh, I think so. Yep. <laughs> yep. And they come in little stacker pots, so just get a just get a few little shapes and. Yep. Just have those. And I'm I don't really have a reason as to where I'm putting these. I'm just kind of throwing them in there. I'll use a big one. Cause why not? Okay. And when I feel like I have enough going on in here which I'm pretty sure 
pretty sure I do. It's awesome. I feel like I've got quite a bit going on in there. I'm gonna just cure that. Okay. Um, I would go in the whole time if I were doing it on a client. However, I am not, so I'm not gonna go in the whole time. I'm just gonna do like a 30 second cure. Perfect. But while that's curing, Sarah's gonna do hers. I'm just going to remember I put this flossy on and then I put on Shine Bright. I let that kind of level out and then I gave that a full 60 second cure. And now I'm just going to go in with a very, very thin layer of the pink jelly right over top of the glitter. Yes, this will be saved for those wondering. Yes. So again, last week we showed you a chrome sandwich. This week we're showing you easy nail art, but one of them is a jelly sandwich. So you can see how cute that is with that iridescent glitter poking through underneath. Mm -hmm. That's so, so fun. What would be fun also is to do foil jelly yep. sandwiches, mm -hmm. like to do, I don't know, like Gabriel or Elvis, one of the Absolutely. like iridescent ones. That would be very cool. Absolutely. All right. And then I would just top coat that and I'd be able to send my client on their way. Very, very simple nail art. But now we're going to finish up Rachel's incredible design <laughs> that we're so all very invested in. I've added just all of these things into one layer of the jelly. And as you can see, it's like very thin. It's not super chunky or it's anything like that. It's not super like bulky. Mm -mm. Um, but I am going to add just a little bit more yellow, just a little bit more of the jelly and kind of tap it around just so it kind of breaks up all of the colors that I just added. So that gives it that dimension. It almost brings it out more. Yeah, because then you get a lot more of that, like, kind of hidden iridescent from yeah. Constance underneath and from the Denise. Like, once it buries it a little bit, you kind of see it. You little see bit it more. more. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to add a little bit of this guy, a little bit more Denise. We're doing a live on the newbies. Mm hmm. We're, do, we're showing all of the new jellies that we just got. Oh, mm -hmm. cute, yeah. right? So cute. cute, right? The cute baby's oh, here. Fine. I'm gonna, mm -hmm. you know, love we have to minute. not just ogle over everybody's I babies when it. they bring them in. Love okay, it. so I just added just a little bit more Denise and kind of just evening it out so it's not super chunky. Dang, and in the camera, down. that is. <laughs> so awesome. And then, just for a kick, we're going to add a little bit of Lara Ann because it has a little more of that blue. Even though it still has gold, in different lighting you'll see different colors. It's actually very similar to Denise in that it is that flake. And maybe I added too much because now it's kind of muddy. But if it's muddy, that's okay. Just move it around. No, it still has a lot of depth. It's very cool. It feels like a stone, honestly. Um, Jellaholic by Liz. What glitter is that? Which glitter? She has. There's a couple. Quite a few. She'll walk you through all the products in just a minute. Thank you, Danny. She said, wow, Sarah, so cool. Uh, Sheridan said, oh, cute. Thanks, Sheridan. And then Akila, yes, it will be saved. All right. And yeah, I did go a little bit overboard with this because I just wanted to use all the things, but I probably would limit it to like three different objects rather than five, because that's just a lot. But uh, in all actuality, before it's you put on fun. Laura Ann, it was perfect. So that was one, two, three, four, five different items you used yeah. with the butterfly. So I think Laura Ann only pushed it over the edge. Yeah, just because I wanted it, it to kind have of a little bit with more. That blue. Um, but then it was just a little bit much. But, but I think it's amazing. I think actually if I went over and like buffed it a little bit, that mm -hmm. would change the effect completely. And that Agreed. would be very cool. Agree. Okay. You're going to give that a try on a live? Buff it. We're going to buff it. Mm -hmm. Okay, walk through mm -hmm. the right products while that's curing. Let me just put all the lids on. Liz, you got it. I'm walking through the yellows, yeah? Yep, all okay. the yellows used. All right, so we had a base of Come What May, which is our one of our most favorite, just semi-sheer pinks, yep. gorgeous. gorgeous. And then I had just a little bit of the yellow jelly, and then I put on some Constance and Denise and the yellow butterflies. The yellow butterflies are part of the stackers. Part of the stacker mm -hmm. pots, uh-huh. Yep. And then just the yellow and silver, well, gold and silver circles. 
Um, and I just use like the little itty bitty ones because there's lots of different sizes in here. And then just went back over with some more jelly, kind of just stacked on top of it a little bit. And I actually, I think I am going to buff this just a little bit to kind of get rid of a lot of the just muddiness the muddy that effect. I gave it. Mm -hmm. So we're just gonna wipe it off real quick. Oh, there's a lot sticking out, so this might, <laughs> might be a mistake. You just um, buff it very lightly so you don't take yeah. off your butterflies. Oh. But yeah. One of the butterflies already is coming up. Lay back down, baby. Lay down. I just want some of the... Mm. I did lose a butterfly. It's on the way. Oh, it's right here. <laughs> Wiping it off. I killed it. Okay. Don't know if that helped, but... I bet it did, and once you top coat, you're going to be able to see it. I'm just going to throw another butterfly in there because... Yeah. A butterflies died when they fell off. Do you want the shine bright as your glue to stick it in? Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so she's just applying a layer of shine bright, and then she's going to come back on. I'll open this for her. Oh, there's a butterfly yeah. there. You want that one? Yes. I'm just going to use that guy. Okay. And then she's going to stick on her butterfly, and then we'll be back on track. Mm hmm but like like all things with nails, like it's just all experimenting and absolutely, you know, trial. And Even failure. on an Instagram live, don't worry, guys, we're one hundred percent real. Also, I'm just gonna once again show you a must-have tool, the applicator. Mm-hmm. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. Lay down. Hmm. Lay down, my guy. Okay. Danny said, love the yellow nail. Very pretty. It's so much fun. Okay. So while that is curing, I actually had one more thing that I was going to show you along the lines of what Sarah did. Just a kind of more of a simple jelly sandwich. Can I use your applicator? Absolutely. I mean, yeah. I do have two right here, but you just had yours up. Yeah. Um, and I'm going to just go in with some Dottie. You know, she's my fave. Just this super holographic supercharged holographic I should so say. So the glitter I chose was iridescent versus a super holographic and in the end super holographics I think win when it comes to sandwiches. Yeah just because um, they are so because strong that, underneath. Mm -hmm, because of the gonna, hollow that comes out. I'm gonna burnish this real quick. Mm. And that I'm just burnishing so... over come what may just because that's the color I had but Yummy. you could do it over any color. On the swatch that I did, I actually did it over, um, like one of the jellies, so it was just like a actual jelly sandwich. There's multiple layers of that. Okay, and then we're gonna dust off, so we don't have so much in the way. And you could go in with a layer of Gimme Strength or Shine Bright or something to cap it in, but since I just dusted off and there's no excess and nothing's going to come off, I'm actually just gonna go straight in with the jelly. Fantastic. Can I do a, can I do a little ombre? Do I yes, have please. I want to do a, I don't know what colors I want to do. Maybe just like green, blue, purple. That'd be beautiful. Super simple. Yeah, they are. They're so fun. They really are so good. I think you need that. Okay, so I'm going to do just a purple, blue, green little ombre with the jellies because they apply so easily. I'm excited they, to watch you ombre They them. ombre really nicely, actually. So I'm just gonna do a little, a little bit. And you don't need a lot of it. And I'm actually gonna do all three colors at once. Dang. I did this yesterday and I did it with all of them all at once and it actually was really nice. Oh, um, I think I showed that one. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, this one. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Sam. All right. And then, using just the best Magpie Ombre brush. Yep. There's a lot of heads hovering right now. That's this because is this not one, two, make three. me stress at all. That's because this is something people 
are always intrigued by and that's why I'm like, I can't wait to watch you ombre this. So I'm just gonna go back and forth in this color, kind of make a transition in between the two and then bring it down. But with the jellies, they mix super easily. Like, even if that's not 100% mixed, you can't really tell when there's a holographic yeah, underneath can't. poking through. You just get that like strong color peeking through. And I'm gonna go down, do the same thing with the green yeah. and the blue. Yeah. It's really good, this huh? Is, yeah. Hi, Jove. Yeah. Jove good. likes the little ombre. Even the baby's watching you, ombre. <laughs> it's fascinating. That's how much people it's love good an ombre. Stuff. Absolutely. Dang, those do ombre That's so, so nicely. Stop. That is like a game changer. That is awesome. That is Boom. so Done. cool. I do have a Bravo. bubble in there or lint Beautiful. or something. Um, Cat Got the Cream is there out of stock at HQ. We are hoping it will be back, but we hope that every single time we make an order. So Danny, I do not know when it will be back in stock. Hopefully soon. I really, I don't know, but I hope soon. Okay, me, back to your yellow. Yeah, here's my uh, my finish. So she did a little bit of taking off the top mud. I just buffed just a little just bit, a little. and it actually made it better because you can yeah. see more of the dimension in here, and you can see more of the shapes and yep. all the different things that I put on here. It's not as muddy. So and now that's gosh, just fun. There's just so much. But like, it really is such a cool technique to just try and do these like kind of like a muddy ombre, like mm -hmm. with different shapes and different colors. And um, I saw, oh, who was the one that started it? Was it Isabel May Nails? It may have been, I don't know. Um, I want to say it was, but I could be wrong and I apologize if I am incorrect. Um, Whoever started the center ombre? One of our sweet friends in the UK um, did it first and I saw it and I almost cried because it was so beautiful. <laughs> so I was like, I want to try it. But it's so easy with inkies because they just, they ombre so nicely, like I just showed you. Like they just, just they so spread so easily. They really do. That was awesome. Yeah. It's the easiest ombre I've ever done. So good. Yep. So good. Done. All right. Well, let's reshow all of these beautiful swatches. Boop, boop. We have a brown and a red, orange and a yellow, a green and a blue. And for those wondering, no, we do not save these after we're done on a live, so don't worry if it's laying in the glitter. <laughs> yeah, we do throw As I'm away. collecting glitter on every single one. Yep. Purple and pink. So you can buy the jellies individually, you can buy them as a collection. And um, for anybody who is just barely joining and might not rewatch, we are going to come back next Monday at 10 a.m. Mountain Daylight Time, and we are going to do some tutorials on some advanced nail art. Today we just wanted to show something simple, um, simple ideas to get people going. And then um, please come back and join us. We are happy to answer all of your questions. And it's going to be so much fun. And We're going to go amazing. over so many different designs yep. and like things that, you know, everybody I would love to show about. them to you, but I want you to come back on Monday. But yeah, we got to keep you in suspense. Yep. You know, always keep them wanting more. Monday is the day. Come back. You're gonna, not going to regret it. It's going to be just what you're wanting. We're going to so answer good. all of your questions in regards to torties along with other designs. So I'll give you that much. All right, everyone, Thank have you. a lovely afternoon. We Thanks hope you so enjoyed much. today's live. If you have any questions, you can let us know. Otherwise, you can shop at magpiebeautyusa.com. See ya. Bye. Bye.